I want to open your eyes on something. And you may know this or you may not know this. Okay. I have been talking to more and more people and I have noticed that demons play the same tricks on us all, tempt us pretty much in the same categories. Where you may not pass or where you may fail at, I may pass. Where you may fail at, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> where you may fail at, I may pass. Where I may fail at, you may pass. But we pretty much get tempted in the same categories. So we have to, we should really help each other to get strong in the areas where we may be weak at. And there is no shame to ask for help from other people. But we need to be actively trying to get better, not use that person as a crutch always, because that is not good for anyone. Because you really can wear on the patience of that person that is trying to help you. And we don't want to do that. So, as I stated earlier, we all get tested or tempted in the same areas pretty much. So, let's take these five categories here. Lust, rude, fear, patience, and given. And let's take these five people Billy, Jane, Tommy, Crystal, and Ben. Okay. So let's take Billy. Now, Billy may not have lust issues. He may not be rude. He may have fear. He may not have patience. And he may give. Let's take Jane. Jane may have lust issues, she may be rude, she may have fear, she may not have patience, and she may not give. Let's take Tommy. Tommy may have lust issues. He may be really rude. He may give in to fear. He may have patience and he may give. Let's take Crystal. Crystal may have lust issues. She may not be rude. She may have fear. She may not have patience. And she may give. So Ben, I believe, right? I believe I went with Crystal, right? So Ben. So Ben may have lust issues. He may be rude. He may give in to fear. He may not have patience and he may give. So as you can see here, for this illustration here, they all get tested in the same categories. So if they know each other, what they should do is talk with each other, like, hey, how do we get over the things that we are weak in so we can conquer those situations you see I may be strong <laughs> a person who may not lust can help a person who always are lusting a person who have anger issues and are always rude they can seek out for help to change that. Does that make any sense? So what you are going through, another person may be going through the same. Yes. What you are being tempted with, everyone else pretty much have been tempted in the same area. But 
we all may not react in the same way towards it. If lust comes to me, I can pass it. But if lust come to you, you may struggle a bit more with it. So what I can do is tell you how I conquered lust. Does that make any sense? We need to proactively help each other. There is no shame in asking for help, especially if it is something that you have been trying to get over, but you have not been able to. Does that make any sense? There is no shame. The only shame is to not ask for help and letting those demons conquer you. And that is shameful right there. So I really hope you guys or you all understand this. We pretty much all get tested in the same categories. We all do. What you are going through, I know that demons may make you think that what you are going through, no one else is going through the same things that you are going through, but that is wrong. That is completely wrong. What you are going through, other people are going through the same things. So, you are not isolated. Like God is not picking on you or picking with you. Everyone is going through some type of issue. And you are only looking on the outside with people and not seeing what is happening in the inside, like what is happening in their lives. So take heed to this. Like I said, you are not going to find this in the Bible here. You are not. But this is what I have been noticing when I speak with people and hearing what others say. So take heed to this, learn from this, and get better. God bless.